Dicks Cast. Movie Cast. Oh, that Look one's going to go hard. Woo! I want to give a quick shout out right now to uh, <laughs> Tatsu Threads, uh, the TikTok company that sells shirts. Um, they overcharged for three shirts, which I respect. It's a good business model. And it took two months to ship my shirts oh, to the wrong address. Isaac, Isaac, <laughs> it's, just but, it's too loud. It's too loud. <laughs> Oh, you can't hear me? God, <laughs> too loud. No, no, I can hear you. I can hear you. No, I'm saying I can hear you, but you are ear raping the, the oh, mic oh, right sorry. now. Just so st stay. Yeah, don't get any really, closer you, than I mean, that. You know me. I'm, I'm, I'm very bad. No, I know. Uh, 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 well, I mean, because typically you're the more quiet in the recording. So this new yeah. software, like, over. Am I too loud? Because tell me if I'm. Because no, no, I can turn great. myself. No, you sound phenomenal. Voice of an angel. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. Body of the Greek god. Well, <laughs> you too. I mean, hey, we got, this is a podcast, a body of Greek bods. Can um, we, Nils, can you start, like, a, a fitness program on this channel, please? Oh, yeah, wait, we can, let's, hold on, let's make a, like, fitness program on this, but, mm -hmm. like, let's say, um, okay, it's, uh, every, let's, let's do three days a week. All right, let's just do three days a week. Let's make it really obscure. Um, what should it be? Um, oh, I take that back. It's a program, but you have to follow it while you're pooping. No, so, all right, let's just get to the movie. All right, <laughs> let's, just, let's just get to the movie. <laughs> uh, no, wait, hear me out. Hold on, hold on. Okay, what, so what? how about not that? So, let's say if you were on the toilet, right? This is the program because everyone wants to always get big calves, right? Mm -hmm. I think if you were, every time you're on the toilet, do yourself 20 calf raises. Make that a challenge. Just 20. Okay. I think, that, so while you're sitting, it's you're just. Core. It's great for the core. Yeah. I mean, it's, yeah, yeah that's actually raises. really easy. No, it's not. I'm thinking of like V-ups. So Wait. Never mind. Oh, yeah, no. Wait, okay. Let's add on to that. Because that's the thing, is that it's always like, you have oh, yeah, to make it working that's out good. more accessible, Right. So everyone goes to the toilet. What's your excuse of not doing? Um, I think I'm. Hold on, I'm gonna turn my. There you go. But yeah, what's your excuse of not working out if it's on the toilet that you're supposed to do it? So we will do. You gotta do twenty calf raises, and then yeah, let's do the V up. So when you're on the toilet, right? You just you gotta, gotta leg raise. It's just leg raises, right? You just gotta lift yeah. Them up. You gotta lift them just up. do that. There you go. And then one more. We need one more movement um, everyone could do. Oh, oh, oh. If you have dumbbells, you could, like, do, like, you know, the, like, uh, oh, this is, like, my favorite thing. It's, like, uh, it's a combination of curls and then overhead press. You get, like, dumbbells, and then you start. It's hard to see right now. So you get dumbbells, and you start like this, you know? And uh, then you, like, oh, yeah. curl it up to here. You rotate, and then you press. <laughs> You can do it sitting down, so it's like perfect. We should get like make a whole ebook and everything for this yeah, program. Yeah, it's great for the chest, man. Well, you can pull, <laughs> that's that's legs, core, and chest. That's full body right there. There you that's, go. That's <laughs> this is a that, this is a great program. <laughs> yeah. So uh, and what's it? What should we call it? Uh, it's the last thing I do. Um, oh, I'm bad with oh, the PR department. Um. Let's see. What's like? We should definitely we should definitely pay a freelancer, like a, a freelance digital marketer, to come up with a name for this. Yeah, I'd be willing to put like five bucks on that, like on Fiverr, you know, just be like, hey, come up with a name for this exercise for me. Totally. I mean, hmm. Because yeah, we could. Uh, how about uh, fucking um, shit grinding? No, that's too like. Well, yeah, no, intense. I mean, that works too. Yeah. It has to be something with grinding in it, right? So. Oh, you know, like push and pull. It's poop and pull. I, I, no, there's not really we'll any pulling. I, no, so I'm I'm down for anything at this point. Okay. Oh, that, I I love that. You realize like this actually could make a ton of money. In what we're saying, like you would definitely see this not in really. like a. No, no, no. Like, cause like, you know those like firework stores, right? 
Yeah. That, is this something you totally would like see like a little book, right? And it's like exercises you can exercise do on the toilet. The toilet. Okay. Dude, that is the easiest. I, I mean, yeah, we. I think we just made like money. It's gonna make a lot of money, but some, of, you know, one of our many viewers is probably gonna steal that. From us. <laughs> um, you're gonna go ahead and uh, just take it all. So. Well, cause you know we have like the uh, Indian fan base. For six cast, so we're already com- competing with the Indian firm of what this company. So the good news is, unless the, it's a you know U.S. based sub- subsidiary, we can still file trademark claims. So uh, I like your odds. Yeah. Well, um, s- I mean that. Wow. I, I Isaac, that was a good. Um, productive. Uh, that was a productive think tank there. Um, sp- speaking of production. Um, let's, let's, uh, I'm checking, hold on, oh, okay, um, oh, we got a big, we got a big, uh, Burundi, uh, headline here. Oh, yeah? Uh, wow, Burundi Central, fuck, Burundi Central, Burundi Central Bank lifts a ban on foreign exchange, Fucking Burundi Central Bank lifts ban on foreign exchange boroughs. Bureau. Bureau. Oh. Bureau. Um, I mean, Isaac, we, we, we're uh, business majors. We probably should actually have. I, I, I kind of don't. I need to read about this because I don't really know. Hold on. What does this mean? Actually, I'm pretty sure I know what that means. Um, yeah. So what I. I'm not completely certain because I don't know the terminology they're using. For example, Foreign Exchange Bureau. Not exactly mm-hmm. sure what that is. Um, but, for example, what I think is happening is what a lot of countries experienced dur- during the onset of COVID. And I, yeah. I learned a lot about this because I'm an econ major. Um, oh, really quick. Because you're onto something. Because that ban er, was set in place in February 2020. So, yeah. continue. So, basically, and this, you know, every country dealt with COVID in a different way because, you know, a lot of GDP was falling here in recession. We all know, like, a bunch of currencies were depreciating. And the reason behind that is that essentially a bunch of interest rates were being cut because no one could go anywhere. So it's kind of hard to spend money, right? And generally speaking, we were just printing a lot of money. Um, So inflation, and this is over the course of the whole pandemic, of course. So um, a really good example here is Turkey, right? So when COVID... When COVID hit, the Turkish lira, uh, it depre- it was depreciating in value a lot. And so what Turkey did is they decided, their, their, uh, their, their central bank decided that they were going to just basically, in order to, it, currency is essentially a good. That's just the way you have to think about it. So the more in demand it is, the more valuable it is, right? Yeah. Um, the less supply it is, the more value it is, you know. And so when the U.S. was printing money and stuff, that's why our you know, that's why inflation skyrocketed. Um, so what, and what's happening is with Turkey, and cause I don't know what Burundi did, but I'm guessing they just shut all foreign exchange down, which for them is probably a smart move. That's not what Turkey did. Turkey just bought up a bunch of Turkish liras. So they mm. let go of a bunch of foreign assets to buy yeah. Turkish liras to increase the demand. And the issue is COVID was a long, it, it was, it was a long pandemic, right? Almost you know, <laughs> two years is, it was yeah. two years before it's no longer a pandemic, technically. But so the issue is they did a short-term solution for a long-term problem. And then because of that, they had a bunch of Turkish leaders that no one wanted, and uh, the currency depreciated more. So what I'm guessing, well, I don't know what currency Burundi uses, but what I'm guessing what happened is if it's a domestic currency, I would assume that they didn't want people fleeing to more secure currencies. They wanted people to stay with a domestic-based currency, because that's what the government's based in, right? You don't want your entire country collapsing. So what I'm assuming happened, because again, I'm not reading this headline, right? Um, mm-hmm. Is that they just said, listen, you can't, we're not allowing you to make transactions for other currencies. And now that we're seeing, for example, the like US is, is a great example because it's happening a lot. In order to combat our inflation, uh, we're raising the federal rate, which is just raising the interest rate, right? Um, because Wait, Isaac, sorry, yeah. really quick. I'm only saying this for the sake of people listening to audio. 
try not to hit your hand on the table because oh, it's like exactly. doing this and i i'm fine with it but i i bet some people that are listening to you like holy fuck no, <laughs> sorry, sorry that, you know i love i love this analysis i was and then also before you go for i was just i was gonna read exactly what they um said for like why okay. they did it um but it was basically um uh during the wait oh fuck hold on uh actually keep going wait my bad oh yeah Again, so they the, uh, oh so the the yeah. goal was to weed out um operators flouting official exchange rates so like it was to yeah to prevent oh, okay. I, I mean yeah that's yeah basically kind of what you're saying fun. right where it's like so basically local locals were going for other foreign currencies more and then it was just causing the exchange rate to get fucked in Burundi's favor basically or out of um not despite. in Burundi's favor it's it's minimizing losses at that point it's not no mm. one really wants that but um so the reason they put they they lifted that right it's there's no longer a ban there's no longer one um because okay. yeah it says the country faced a shortage of hard currency in the wake of a 2015 political crisis that prompted donors to to, to suspend aid um yep. that was uh, i'm pretty sure that was a coup Yes. Yep. Oh, the, oh, it, it's all tying together. Because then, together. and then I'm assuming then they lifted it because this year the European Union agreed to resume financial support and the United right. States. So I think it's just their currency is getting more stabilized. So then they're yeah, right. And yeah, and the thing is, if they didn't release that, um, the issue then becomes that because you know the United States and then like the European Union and the British people, well, people. Um, uh, because, you know, now we're all raising interest rates, right? So our currencies are just becoming so much more valuable. So that's probably why they halted that, uh, the, the limit that they had in place. But, yeah. yeah, didn't know about that. That's pretty cool. Thank you. Oh, yeah. I, wow. That, that was actually, that was, Isaac, that, you carried that analysis, by the way. That was beautiful. It's like so. the one thing I've learned in three years. So. <laughs> I don't, when I was, like, reading, I was like, hold on. Like, Isaac's literally an econ major. Yeah, I'm a finance no, major. Scary. Like we should, this shouldn't be that half-assed. Like, yeah, a little bit because we don't know, but, yeah. um, totally. So, awesome. Well, um, speaking of uh, yeah. you got you, you got a transition. Oh, I got no. No, this is all you know. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, 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 okay. Give me a sec. Give me a second. Um. Uh, to, 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 I, Isaac, uh, talk about your fantasy team while I think about this really quick. Hold All right, on. so basically, um, my fantasy team's, like, pretty good. I think I'm a little bit above average in scoring this year. Uh, Saquon Barkley and Jalen Hurts have been carrying. Kyle Pitts has been phased out because Arthur Smith is a bitch. Michael Thomas is promising. I hope he gets healthy again, though. James Conner, once D-Hop comes back, I think he's going to go back into top 10, maybe top eight categories but we'll see all right no show me what you got. all right speaking of burundi lifting the ban on uh their exchange uh foreign exchange bureaus right just like how in new york they lifted the ban against lyle lyle crocodile living like an ordinary citizen in new york city so that's a pretty good one come on thank you Thank you. I know. I was like, tied it into the plot. That's a first. We've never I know. Plot and oh, but yeah. Fun. I know. And, well, speaking of the plot, I'm gonna give a quick plot synopsis. But Isaac, I think this time, because I'm pretty sure this is gonna be like the most obscure movie we're gonna talk about. Yeah. Like, I don't think anyone listening to this will watch this movie. So I, I think we so. should do a very, or not, I don't know, brief, but like. Just kind of a rundown of what happens in the movie. I think it's pretty easy because it's also like a really generic, uh, predictable plot. Um, but I'm gonna read that. <laughs> All right, no, go, please, please go. Um, oh my god! Like this plot synopsis. <laughs> Here we go. He no. Oh. Okay, really quick before I say this. I want to imagine your life where it is right now, all right? Because when you're about to hear the headline or, like, the opening phrase for this Wild Wild Crocodile plot synopsis, your life will be different 
I guarantee it. He knows every scale. That's okay. I, I that that might be the best I've ever heard. But um, when the Prim family moves to New York City, their young son Josh struggles to adapt to his new school and new friends. All that changes when he discovers Lyle, a singing crocodile who loves baths, caviar, and a and great muscle living. Oh, great music! <laughs> and great music living in the attic of his new home. The two become fast. <laughs> The two become fast friends, but when Lyle's existence is threatened by evil neighbor Mr. Grumps, the Prims must band together with Lyle's charismatic owner, Hector P. Valenti, to show the world that family can come from the most unexpected places, and there's nothing wrong with a big singing crocodile with an even bigger personality. Um, I'm really quick. I'm gonna have to say that last sense is stupid because Lyle literally does not have a big personality. His personality is limited to singing. Um, yeah. I don't. I think that was kind of lazy there. Uh, whoever letterbox writer, whoever you are, um, I would get on that. But um, so yeah, Isaac, let's just, let's just take quick turns here. Let's just try to run through the movie. Um, I, I'll I'll start off really quick. Uh, oh, and before we uh, talk about it, I just want to mention my theater going experience for this because I walked the all the way to the theater or whatever. Yeah. Um, and then it was a Monday night. I go in right, and <laughs> there's just one dad and his kid in the theater, and that's it. And I walked in. Was, I don't even think they really noticed me. But it just felt so fucking awkward. Like, they were just trying to have, you know, good time, good bonding moment. And then I just walk in. And, I don't know. So, but the nice thing is I got to, I sat in the back. So, yeah. I watched the whole movie, I promise. And I paid attention. But I will not lie that this was the first ever time I was kind of on my phone in a theater. Oh, okay. Kidding. Cool. But, I, well, because I saw it. <laughs> No, I don't know. Maybe I don't. But like when I saw the third Travis Kelsey touchdown, I'll admit it. I was watching the Monday Night Football game at the same time of watching the last like thirty minutes of this movie. But um, wait, Isaac, was there anyone else in uh, the theater in your theater that was watching? There were four parents, so two families, um, <laughs> and, like, two kids, so like one kid each family, and then there was me, and we were arranged in like an L shape. So like what it was looking like is like um I have this. So like you know we we got we got the screen right here, right? Mm -hmm. Screen here. Um and then there's like two there's like you know stairs here. This is the entrance. <laughs> um, we have like a section of seats here and then like for some reason there's like I think another walkway and then another section of seats and it's like on an upwards incline, you know? Oh sorry. Yeah. And it's on an upwards incline. So entrance, stairs on yep. this side. There's a hallway hall uh, there's just a pathway yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and then there's seats nice seats you know um so uh so the first family was about right here i was about right here and the <laughs> other family was about right right there so it was like in a nice l shape you know? why did um, what <laughs> why did you yeah. say the front <laughs> No, I sat in the back. No, 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 no. I was. Oh, right oh, here. oh. I was right here. This is the screen. I was. Oh. Right here. I, was, I was over here. So I, the of, um, I, I, I thought the bottom of your page was the like the theater screen, so you booked no, a ticket. No. I was like three rows. <laughs> I wish I did, but no. Um. So that was interesting. I felt really weird because like I kept getting annoyed because the kids were making noise, and then I thought about it, and I was like, I'm at a kids movie. Uh, yeah, I was like, oh. Um, <laughs> And uh, so yeah, and it was also like 5 p.m. So hey, weird, I watched mine at 5 p.m. Time. Yeah, yeah. I got I like I entered and it was day, and I left and it was night. So like yep, it was it was interesting, you know. Yeah, but awesome. Well, yeah, let's uh, the so the movie opens with uh, uh, Javier Bardem. I think that's the actor's name. Uh, he, you know, he's in a rut. He can't win the America's Got Talent. So he goes to a pet shop and he see, he, you know, 
They don't got much there, but he hears a little, uh, tiny little Sean Mendes singing the I like it like that uh, song. Um, and I think that that can open up with, I, let's go, yeah, of what did you think of Sean Mendes in this well, movie? Well, you know, a lot of this was, this was one of my longer letterbox reviews. I actually had to type it on my computer. Mm -hmm. um, but essentially, I was really confused about this film, and not because of the film itself. And it's it's really just because of just, like, I didn't understand why they made Did you read my review? No, because I wanted to just hear your opinions all fresh. Good. I was going to read it. That's but, good. Yeah. That's good. That's good. Because this is, like, a huge part of it. I'm just, like, really confused on why they made the movie. Um, like, obviously, like, yeah, sure, it's a kid's movie. But, like, from... And I'm not a film major, so if I'm incorrect, please let me know. But, like, um, I'm just saying that generally. I know you're not a film major. Um, so, generally speaking... What I've seen is that the reason these movies exist, like this movie, Alvin and the Chipmunks, you know, uh, Sing is the most notable recent example. Did you see Sing? Yes. I okay. saw that in Costa Rica. So, oh, really? That's awesome, mm -hmm. actually. Um, also, Isaac so, the Table. Sorry, really quick. Sorry. No, I... Yeah, <laughs> I'm very sorry about that. I'll... I'll yeah. Um, so, just generally speaking, I was really confused about why they made the movie. Because with those movies, what you see is, you know, it's a kid's movie. And so what they're trying to do is they're trying to reach two separate audiences. You want to get the kids with a story, right? Because kids love a story. And then you want to get the adults to at least, like, sustain minimal brain function and actually spend money to take their kids. And, you know, what I've seen is with Sing, and as my best example, is, like, you know, they get a bunch of, like, uh, they find, oh, what's, like, you know, what's a, what, what are songs a bunch of you know, parents would like? Like, Elton John, you know? Um, that's the biggest one. I actually don't remember any other artists from that song. But, um, I thought of, you know, they, wait, had, they had covers. Yeah. I, correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like a lot of those songs were originals, too. I have no idea. Besides no Crocodile idea. Rock and, like, the I Like It Like That, I think oh, a I'm lot of them. Wild? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Okay. No, I'm getting, that. I'm getting oh, that. Oh, you're talking about Sing um, Still. My bad. I, I didn't know. Yeah, yeah. Um, My bad. So yeah, so like you know, they had like Taron Egerton like do a cover of Elton John, and they basically just had a bunch of covers of a bunch of you know, songs. So like the parents would come and be like, "All right, this isn't terrible. I'll spend money." So mm. the thing that my biggest issue of in confu in point of confusion with this film is just like I don't I don't understand what audience they were trying to reach because obviously you have the kids movie with the story, right? You got the crocodile, whatever. But then they're also trying to reach an audience with Sean Men they're trying to reach Sean Mendez's audience. Mm. Which is really weird to me. Because it's it's a really like thin area of people, I think. And again, I might be wrong, I don't know the demographics. Mm. They're trying to reach an area of people that like the parents like Sean Mendez's voice in music and they have kids. And it's just like I feel like that's a really late teens or early twenties artist. I don't know a lot of people with kids who like Sean Mendez that much. Um, yeah. And so that, that was really confusing to me because I just didn't know what, why they made the movie. Um, and I also want to mention, regarding Sean Mendes, um, the dude's a fucking sellout. Like, it's very clear now because what he's doing is, uh, and what he did, sorry, not doing, did, um, mm -hmm. is uh, he sold out a bunch, because again, I think a lot of it was original, or at least it was original by Sean Mendes, right? Yeah. Um, he sold out his catalog to a corporation, I forget the studio that was behind it, and basically the theory behind that is instead of having to market to an entire audience, right, you just sell, sell a bit of a catalog to them, they give you like a lump sum, probably some movie rights, royalties, you know, and then he doesn't have to worry about how many people stream it, he just, he just does it, he yeah. gets money, he's a fucking yeah. sellout, so fuck that guy, I hate sellouts, anyway, He's a bitch. I also want to mention, I also want to mention, this is the last thing, sorry. No, this is no, 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 it's all um, good. I, at the start of the movie, I felt really confident that this <clears throat> might have been, like, an attempt at, like, DC trying to do, like, a soft reboot of, like, a light-hearted Joker and Killer Croc story, but I'm really kind of disappointed <laughs> it wasn't, um, because I feel like that would have been really cool. It's like, you know, the entertainer's like, oh, no one appreciates me. Because I'm old and I have long hair and, and mm -hmm. good, 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 uh, good cheekbones, you know. But like, yeah. it's cool. Uh, that's I was just like really confused about why they made the movie, and I don't like that Sean Mendes 
was is just a sellout, but it's cool. I'm not like, yeah, it was it was bad. It was bad. yeah, because I I was really confused by Sean Mendez as well. Yeah. Um, that's a good point of, because like you can I like yeah I I'm I'm pretty sure like most of Sean Mendez's fans I think are teenage girls. I think. I mean, listen, man's got some bops. I won't lie, but I don't, yeah. Also, Sean Mendes has like been a. Is it just me? Like, I don't even think he's relevant anymore. I thought he was a thing like five years think. ago. So yeah, I guess is. it's just like. I don't know. It's just weird. And then yeah, like in the movie itself, Sean Mendes does not like fit that crocodile or Lyle. Like, it's so it's just so jarring how it goes from like, literally like he lyle cannot speak or when he does it is like a terrifying godzilla roar right to like this <clears throat> how do i describe it I, I, the sean i don't know the way and also the way sean mendez sings sucks like it's just all the high notes it's weird. yeah no he just goes like ah, yeah. like that's literally his thing and, and so like when he like to open when they do the i like it like that song i hate that song too but the he's the like worst. oh god but he's just like I like, it like, that. like his whole gimmick is he sings instead of like the note so the interval right when he's like singing a melody instead of like you know following the melody he'll start on the same correct note <clears throat> and then he just goes an octave up and then on the second and then we'll kind of do his own like scale but it stays relatively high throughout like that's his whole like, purpose it's so bad like i don't know and then like it, spoilers but at the end when he's singing crocodile rock it's it's that to like 100 where like the whole song you know the na -na 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 -na, na -na 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 -na, it's just like what, the pun. way it's a fucking pun it's a pun nils I know, but the way he sang it was just so weird. He's like, na, 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 na. it's like so just why I I I but I get it because like, and I don't want to. And I know it's a thing to always shit on whatever teenage girls like. It's lame. We gotta chill out. No man, it's got but, some bops. I agree though. Oh uh, yeah, so I don't know. Um, and it, yeah, I, but anyway, so yeah, and then, because I don't know, I, also, like, when we were talking about the sta status of this movie, I think it's this formula where, because did you, like, Lyle Lyle Crocodile is just, like, one's, one children's book, right? Oh, I didn't even know it was a children's book. Yeah, that's, like, the whole thing, it's, like, a... Oh, okay, cool, that makes more sense now, I thought well, it was just random, I thought it was completely so... made up. <laughs> Thank you. That makes it. That actually makes it a lot better. No wonder you're so confused. You're like, what the fuck? Why? Like, and the movie doesn't even give like a justification for him being wild, wild crocodile. So yeah. <laughs> um, let me see. Okay, I think wild, wild crocodile is just one book. Um, yeah. But no. So you know when they have the drawings on the stairs? Yeah. That's see. That's the. It's, it's oh oh mm. I get it I get it now so I and like look at this this is so wholesome like and to yeah, turn like the, the movie we watch or uh, it's just damn so um oh Isaac it's like R L Stein wait not R L Stein um who's that what were those books that we would read okay Google Books won't let me show the previews of these. Um, but yeah, so that's the other thing is, wait, so, cause I was really hoping you read these as a kid, cause I don't even know if, like, Lyle read, like, sang in the book, cause I've never seen anything in the books of him singing, you know? Okay. So, like, it seems super random, then they're like, okay, we're gonna do a Lyle Lyle Crocodile movie, but his thing is he sings. Like, I don't know. So, uh, if, if you read Lyle, uh, you comment in the YouTube or, uh, yeah. 
Yeah. Send an email. Um, <laughs> you, can actually, you can find me at, um, you can send a mail to me. Uh, it's 616 23rd Street, uh, Northwest Washington, DC 20052. Please don't package bombs, guys. That was really rude last time. Um, yeah. yeah, send to our P.O. box or whatever. But, um, no, because so, like, last year, they did the uh, Clifford movie. So they're yeah. doing these, like, so I think they're trying to do these, like, childhood, cute animal, like, and then turn it into a cheap movie thing. No, no so they're, they're, they're building a cinematic universe. I will, yeah, that's like, it's literally, it's just so it odd. Like universe, but worse somehow. Yeah, I, I don't, um, but yeah, so... Anyways, um, so yeah, then the, the fucking showman sees Sean Mendes, Lyle, and is like, we're going to make you a star. And then he tries to force him onto stage, but Lyle's too nervous to sing. So then he abandons Lyle in a premium apartment in New York City. Yep. Um, and then the, there's a new family that comes, and the, 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 they all got their own little issues. Oh, I, Isaac, I'll, sorry. You can, I, if you want to try to... Do you want me just to go run through this synopsis, or no, do you no, want to try it? No, okay, no, well, yeah. I have some points I remember that. I okay, because honestly, like, tell you what, I'm just gonna kind of go through it, and yeah, then, yeah. and then you stop me if they're like ar around. There we go. Um, I like how we're going through the structure of a podcast on the. <laughs> I, got one, I got one. I got one. I got one. Actually, all right. Stopped at yeah. Good time for that, honestly. Yeah. Um, I really don't. I mean, like. Whatever, it doesn't really matter. But I really don't like, uh, like I don't understand why they decided to. Maybe it's maybe it's in the lore, as in the book, you know. But like I don't know why they decided to conform to like heteronormative like uh, social norms, you know. Like it do, it doesn't make like you know. Oh yeah, the husband's gonna work and the wife's gonna stay here and you know, she's a, she makes cookbooks so she'll cook. Like I'm not a big fan. I think they were lazy with that. I would have much preferred to see like. Um, anything else but it's cool it doesn't yeah matter. that i um and i like yeah and the acting was really bad like uh, actually i think they i mean the kid was uh, okay but i feel like the kid honestly but loki i think the kid did a better performance than the parents like the mom is constance Wu, and constance Wu is awful in this movie and the dad is even worse but it's just funny. I think the kids acting might be better than the parents because, like, they're, um, but yeah. So and then they, oh, sorry. No, it was all good. Um, and then so yeah, and then oh, and then I love so like there's this whole thing with the dad, right? His whole arc is he misses wrestling, and then they're like, oh, I, so whatever. I don't care. But I love how so. Like, you know, it's his memorabilia, you know, back in his day when he would wrestle. And so you got the jersey, and then you have a picture of him. And they could have literally just, like, j just put a random kid in a wrestling, you know, jersey, and then just took the picture. But instead, it's just it's just the 40-year-old dad in the jersey, or the, the whatever, the unitard, and he's like, it's as if that's how he looked in high school. It's like, wh why? What are you that lazy? You could just. Yeah, they didn't. They didn't have a bunch of stock <laughs> photos. Um, I also would like to touch on this because yeah. this is like possibly one of the most concerning parts of the uh, the meaning of the film for me. So Lyle just knew how to wrestle. Like there, like Lyle knew how to wrestle, and Lyle, Lyle wrestled knew how to wrestle good enough that he. Uh, convincingly let a 40 year old man think that he had beat him mm -hmm. i think that's terrifying how did the crocodile learn how to wrestle nils how did it learn how to wrestle nils mm -hmm. no one knew about the talking or singing crocodile it just learned how to wrestle and it knew the rules yeah Lyle well, can't read Lyle has predatory vision it's like actually no actually that does help because it's deaf perception but maybe maybe lyle can read all right yeah well actually you know i'm going to talk about this now Thank you. Because, you know, like, how every director, they, like, when they make a movie or a short film, they will typically have, like, one to three of, like, what was their inspiration for this film, right? Yeah. Like, what uh, other movies or pieces of work 
you know, inspired them, right? Mm -hmm. I shit you not. I bet the director of this movie watched Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Because this is literally Rise of the Planet of the Apes, but like an unbased version of it. And I will get back onto the Black Connection when we talk about the ending in the movie. <clears throat> but you have like an animal that's like very smart or whatever and then is able to kind of improve the lives of these family in this like weird looking home um and i i'll wait till the ending of the movie to talk about the full connection i saw um with that but it is um this movie is just like rise of the planet of the apes but anyways mm -hmm. so um yeah and they also so then we have the kid who doesn't like uh school right He's, he's a weirdo. Um, he uses asthma inhalers incorrectly. Um, I love that the movie it connects uh, a panic attack with asthma. Um, I, that's the only... That's dumb and stupid. But ever, I guess ever since it came out, the 1995 one, everyone thinks, oh, if you have panic attacks, you get asthma. Um, they don't understand how that works. So I, I love how that works. Um, and then the, the kid's trying to get the TikTok girl. Um, and I get it. They're trying to show that the boy had, like, bad dancing. But it actually, like, genuinely disturbed me when I the, the like, kid would try to do the girl's TikTok moves. It looked horrifying. He was, like, <laughs> this weirdest. It, it was... I. It wasn't even funny. I was disturbed to the bone. Um, but, yeah. And then, um, so, uh, yada yada, they meet the crocodile. And then, the oh, the crocodile shows uh, the kid how to uh, dive in dumpsters. So, he, his life is better now. Um, and then, the mom's like, hold on. There's a crocodile in our place? Nuh-uh. But what do you know? Um, and the, also that, oh, that's, that was so bizarre. This is when it was peak, like, Sean Mendez is just not right for this movie. When, like, she's running away from Lyle, and then Lyle, in order to gain her trust, just immediately breaks into the song about cooking or whatever. It is so bad. Like, I, I saw, why do they make the whole thing that he can only sing? This movie would be so much more wholesome if he's just a crocodile that's nice. You can, mm -hmm. and you don't have to, like, they just, they made this the most generic, like, over-the-top, like, oh, he, he has to have the special thing, because everyone in fucking America has to have, they have to have a purpose, okay, all right, so he's gonna fucking sing, he's, I'm gonna, like, I also hate that, when it's, oh, like, a character has, it's about music, and their main thing is singing, Get, there are so many other forms of music that that character can do, a doing lazy, uh, like, I get it, it's easy, it's Sean Mendez, he sells the film, but why is the film centered around Sean Mendez? Like, it's so weird. What's the point of having him around Sean Mendez? Uh, but yeah, so, um, and then anyways, so they, yeah, so then the mom's happy, and then the dad, I'm not joking when I say this, seriously thinks he's getting cucked uh, by the mom. Um, oh yeah, go for it, Isaac. I have, I have, I have, I have shit to say on this. With Let's do scientific it. Scientific backing. All right. Do you know about the CIA experiment with the dolphin? Oh, uh, the CIA one? I know it's study. Been, I don't, someone did an experiment with a dolphin. Uh, I think it was the CIA. Um, I might be wrong. It was some, I think some people trying to do spy shit, but basically, all right, hear me out. I think it was in the sixties. Um, uh, so this is all leading up to the mom definitely at, had some sexual activity with that crocodile or the kid. Someone did it, and it is absolutely, it is scientifically proven that someone, maybe, maybe the guy who adopted him did. And the reason is because back, I think in the sixties, I'm going to say it was the CIA cause they probably did it anyways. Like, let's be honest, they've done everything. Um, so back in the sixties, uh, there was an experiment. They were people were trying to get dolphins to be U.S. spies, right? Because um, you know, we needed spies, I guess. And who would expect a dolphin? Because dolphins are super smart. And so they, I think they like. I I don't know what exactly happened. They basically 
they were teaching the dolphin English, and at one point it wasn't really working, and this woman who was in the study romanticized this wild animal and started giving it hand jobs. And they noticed that when she started giving it hand jobs, um, it started learning better. So I'm just saying, like, in order to really get Lyle into the singing, singing atmosphere, I think the guy literally just gave him hand jobs. I, I, I it, is, it is scientifically proven. It is scientifically proven that they learn better when, when they are aroused and uh, their needs are taken care of, which is, like, the worst thing I've ever had to imagine. And I imagined this in the theater. But, uh, so I just want to mention, I think, um, I think it was pretty bad, Nels. <laughs> okay. All right, so I knew exactly the experiment you're talking about, yeah. and so it was funded by NASA. NASA. First off. <laughs> um, NASA. And yeah, the woman was trying to figure out um, if dolphins could understand and mimic human speech. Um, I don't know. There's. I'm not sure if it's because I watched the Cove, which is about like the dolphins right getting yeah. slaughtered. Um, I don't know if it was that, or if it was that experiment. There's also an experiment similar to that, that, like, they learned, oh, no, this isn't similar. But basically, like, dolphins can commit suicide. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyways. I don't know why smart I said creatures. that. Smart yeah, really creatures. smart. <laughs> yeah, they don't want to live in this. Podcast. Who wants to live in, they're smarter than us. Why do we continue to live in this world? I'm, I'm kidding. Suicide's bad. But, um. Well, listen, they've got their priorities right. They uh, they can get high on, like, puffer fish. Yeah. Um, and that's what they do all day. We have night to fives, so I think they're doing something right. But, Isaac, that is great. I, I, I That's probably true, because Lyle was singing way it, more. It is scientifically when... backed by NASA. By NASA. So, yeah. Um, yeah. But, yeah, and then I we talked about it earlier, but then, yeah, then the crocodile tries to figure things out with the dad, and then they wrestle, um, which then... Get, oh my, dude. Wrestle. Wrestle. I like to mention, the mom wanted some croco dick. So, uh... So, yeah. basically, this crocodile fulfilled the sexual, deep sexual fantasies of both of the parents. Yep. Um, and like, then... Very literally. Yep. But, okay. So then, uh-oh. The magician from the beginning of that movie, he's back. Right? He, he's back to live, and he tries to get Lyle to sing, and Lyle doesn't like it. And then, so since he's, like, getting beat up by the mob, I'm pretty sure he sells out to the the neighbor, and then the neighbor calls animal control. Was that yep. how it went? I was kind of um, watching football at this point in time, uh, so. Yeah, essentially. So basically what happened was, like, the neighbor option, because uh, it's, like, um, the magician guy, I found, found him too, I don't remember his name. It was, like, Dallas something. Um, yeah. Um, but like, so the magician, uh, he, uh, he was in a lot of debt because he had taken out a lot of loans from loan sharks and people. Um, and basically the, you know, he wanted to rent venues and make a lot of money off the show. In order to get the money, he had to like, get loans. Um, so then the guy, the neighbor downstairs was like, Hey, listen, I'll give you a shit ton of fucking money if you just leave and I will call animal control because I want to protect my cat. Which, by the way, at one point was halfway eaten by this alligator. Or crocodile. Also, I'm really mad no one confused it with an alligator. I don't know the difference. There's no way some like, fucking family in New York does. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I'm, yeah, he just, he just left. And then he, like, came back for some reason. And, uh, and then, yeah, they, they all, everyone teamed up against the angry cat man. Because he didn't want a crocodile living with him. Yeah. Yep. Am I frozen, you by the way? No, you're. you're just Wait, there. hold on. Bam. Now your camera's off, and now your camera's back on. There we go. All right, I'm back on. But um. Yeah, it was. It was. Great. Was it, yep. Oh, and then like you know, like Lyle like performed at the America's Got Talent. Club. Oh. I was. Sorry, please. And well, because yeah, so. Really okay, because yeah, so then they sell out, or they you know sells them out. So then Lyle goes to a zoo, right? And oddly, just like how Caesar goes to the uh, the chimpanzee sanctuary, Lyle goes. So they are running the same paths, right? Where they are in a society that they are not allowed to live independently and respected as an individual, right? They are on the same exact path, okay? 
So now, this is where Rise of the Planet of the Apes and Wild Isle Crocodile take two completely different stances um, towards um, the marginalized. So, uh, okay, so then the, the fucking kid breaks out Lyle, right? And then, um, Lyle, so then Lyle's like, huh, well, okay, I'll go out and, you know, cause I respect you, this boy, he sees me as who as I am. And there's a big chase scene, right? But instead of the boy respecting Lyle's freedom of what he wants to do, and I get it. Because Lyle, ha- they're at the America's Got Talent, and Lyle has to sing so he doesn't get in prison. But instead of the movie, the, the, the movie instead doesn't give Lyle the chance to realize or ask himself, hold on, how come I have to sing in order to live as a free individual, right? Why can't I just continue to be a crocodile? Why do I have to get pursued by all of nypd but no if i sing then i suffice my existence right and see that's where rise of the planet of the apes goes a completely different direction because caesar begins to he recognizes that it is impossible no matter how much a human might love you right or the top might love you right the the system isn't getting changed so caesar is like well that system can no longer exist, exist, so I will break free from it. Yeah. What, but the creator of La La Crocodile is arguing, no, that system is fine, and you're going to sing. Um, so, yeah, that's that's the political stance uh, from La La Crocodile. Um, no, no that's, a, that's a great parallel that you drew. I would like to mention, I think that um, the movie does subtly hint at it, but it doesn't directly say it. Lyle was definitely head bitch in the crocodile unit. Like, uh, dude is bipedal uh, and uh, <laughs> apparently has opposable thumbs and can throw a crocodile that is lunging. Like, Mario throws Bowser. Okay, so Lyle head bitch. Lyle is the head bitch. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, that's what I was like. God, also, the way he would run was so fucking weird. Out <laughs> when he's yeah up upright or whatever like this, it just made it so jarring. Because then sometimes he crawls. I don't know, but um, and then Isaac, was that what you were saying, or was there something else about the singing that America's Got Talent at the end? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I can't tell you. I would if this happened, I would have immediately given the movie five stars. I could not tell you how much I would, like, commit seppuku if I got to see it. Um, like, not a fan of it, like, the actual studio doing it. Commit like, what? Seppuku. What's that? It's like, what is seppuku? Wait, hold on. Wait, what? How did... <laughs> ah, yeah, it's, it's the Japanese ritual suicide. Oh! Oh my, okay. Uh, yeah, so... If if one of the one of the talent judges was Adam Levine and he immediately got super horny about the crocodile, <laughs> I would have paid so much money for that. Yeah. I, I don't care about anything else. But yeah. So that's really it. That one of the hosts did look like Adam Levine. I yeah, was gonna he, but that's just because he was a white dude with a beard who dyed a Sarah blonde. And he was that's a like judge. Everyone. Yeah. That's like everyone in Florida. Alright. So it's like yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, that's that's pretty much the whole movie, Isaac. So we. Uh, uh, you made me spend like seventeen dollars on this. We'll see. I but I joined the AMC A list. All right, yeah. so I I may have spent twenty dollars, but now I can watch as many movies as I want for this month. So. That's pretty cool, man. It's that's now just cool. become. Uh, I'm only losing time. But if I, um, yeah, no, I, this was, I, this movie's not even really that funny, bad. I was kind of just dead inside. Um, um, so I wouldn't even like recommend watching this ironically if it's free. I don't waste your time. Which, I mean, is, good news is our theaters are both empty, so it looks like everyone's already taken our advice. Yeah, I mean, I mean, like, if you're going to watch something bad, ironic, let's just watch, like, Tooth Fairy. I don't know. Like, that, that's that got oh, some charm. that's such a fun movie. 
yeah, like, I don't know, this is just, this is just bad, I don't know, it, it's just, like, it's so obvious no one in that, that, like, crew, I mean, not everyone, but, like, it's just no one cared, I, it's just stupid. Would you, would you be, do you think it would be a better one if, I think, who's the guy who played Caesar? Andy Serkis? Andy Serkis? Circus, yeah, Andy Circus. Do you think it would have been better if he did the mocap? <laughs> I don't know, cause only because all of Andy Circus's characters, like Gollum and Caesar, are like they can kind of stand and they're like humanoid-ish, you know. Yeah. A crocodile, <laughs> he's like crying. I don't, I don't look a little weird, um, but. <laughs> And, I mean, he, I love how Andy Circus like, all his characters are really, like, intimidating. I don't know if Lyle is supposed to be, even though he's a crocodile, but, um... Um... Maybe that's, well, like, maybe that's, like, a director's cut type thing. Yeah. Well, Isaac, I think we've covered all of it, um... All right. But, uh, to end it off, um... Well, oh, fuck, I fucked it up. Oh, here, okay. Uh, Isaac, uh... See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. <laughs>